Hey, what's up guys? Lumin has a section called Find Detail Nature. Here you can find the best quality vegetation assets in comparison to the Nature tab. But what if you want to expand these high quality assets? In today's video, I'll show you a fast way to export all of these high quality vegetation assets into Lumion and start making your own library. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start this video by showing you where you can get these high quality vegetation assets. So here in Max3, you can go to any collection of these plant models and in any collection you will be able to download a free sample. So for the purpose of this video, let's do that so you can follow along. And uh, let's go here, for example, on the left side we have here species. So let's click here and let's find palm, for example. And uh, let's click on this one. We need to click here where it says the name, plant models. So click here. And now here you can see some of these assets, the preview. And you'll find here a free sample, high poly. So you can click here and then free sample FPX file or free sample 3ds Max. So for this video, we will use Lime Exporter plugin. And this Lime Exporter plugin, I already made a couple of videos about it. And with this plugin, you are able to export with all the textures already applied into one FPX file, for example. And so you just import this into Lumion and you will have all the textures already there. And so it's the process, it's quite fast. And I will show you how you can do this now for these vegetation assets. And you can download here the 3ds Max file. So let's click. It starts downloading immediately as you can see here. And so now if I open the file, so I have here the file and you can see inside I have all of this. So I'll place this on a folder. So I have here the folder and as you can see, it comes with some previews. So if we open them, we can see how they look. So we're going to open this one here. So it's, uh, as you can see, this L. Okay, so let's go here and let's open this in 3ds Max. Okay. So it's saying this missing external files, but uh, don't worry, I'll show you how you can do all of this with the Lime Exporter plugin. So let me just disable this. Here's the asset. By the way, one thing that I forgot is to tell you how you can get the Lime Exporter plugin. So let's go here to uh, the website. So it's limeexporter.com. And with this limeexporter.com, you first need to create an account. So you register here on the top, a new account. And after you do that, you'll be able to download a free trial for a Lime Exporter. And you can purchase as well Lime Exporter. So you can go here to the bottom and uh, you can get your license for only 25 euros. And this is a yearly license. So they have two versions, 1.5 and 2.51. The 1.5, it's only uh, local. It only exports local. And the version 2.5, it exports online for uh, extra security. And this version, it has much better features than the 1.5. So I strongly recommend you using the 2.5. It's uh, really fast, even though it's uh, exporting online. So I do recommend getting this one. And there's also, if you log into your account, there's also the online version. And this online version, you can either convert by a URL. So you paste here the direct URL, the zip file and it will start a conversion online. So you don't even need 3ds Max or convert by files. So you download this 3ds Max file. You don't have 3ds Max installed on your computer. You can just simply drag and drop here and it will do all the work for you. You just select here the export that you want to the FBX, for example, click convert and you'll start doing everything here. So if you don't have 3ds Max, this is a nice solution. 
And with this online version, I already made a video on my YouTube channel about it, so I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. So let's move back here to 3ds Max. And now here in 3ds Max, we go here to the top and we see here Lime Exporter. So we click it and now we find here Run Lime Exporter. So let's do that. So it will open this window. Let's move this window here. And actually, let's make this standard. Okay. So now with, the, with this uh, window here, we have several options. So we can go here and click Show Textures. So this way, we can see the textures. So we can relink missing assets. So I told you before that we can do this inside Lime Exporter. And so we can click here Set Path. So in my case, it's this one. Let's see, we have here a folder called Maps. Let's select folder. It automatically search for all the assets. So it did a relink for you. So, okay, I'm gonna save this path, continue. And so now here I can see my asset, okay? And now, before I showed you as well in a previous video on my YouTube channel, uh, that you have, when you import directly these assets into Lumion, what will happen usually is that from the bottom, you will not see any libs. You'll just see from the top. So it will not look good because the material will not be double-sided. So here now, we can see this tab here, scene correction, show model error and correct model. So if you click show model error, and now if we move like this, we can see that, well, actually we can see that we cannot see the leaves anymore, right? So it's this issue that I was telling you about. And from the top, we can see. So if you over here, here what it shows it is it will show the model same as Lumion, okay? So when you click, you will see how the, the model will look exactly in Lumion. So let's disable this. And now here we select the, the 3D model and click correct model. And so this will automatically fix all of the issues that the model has. So when you import it into Lumion, it will be already good to go. So it already done that. It might take more time if you have a quite big asset, okay, with a, with a lot of geometry. But for this one, you can see it was quite fast. And then let's have a look of other things that we have here. So we can export single file or by group. And I'll go into this later. We can center to origin. Actually, it's centered, so it's okay. We can uh, notify by email. So every time it finishes the, the conversion, we can get a, an email notification. And here on the bottom, it says save my preset. So you can change anything here. For example, instead of being to FBX file, it can be to Collada file or the 3 Max file. So, and when you do this, you can save presets. And every time you open this Slime Exporter window, it will have already have all these settings saved for you. And also, if you have a very heavy file with a lot of geometry, you can also go here and optimize by percentage of the polygon reduction. So you can also do that here. So when you have done all of this, you can select the asset and then click here, selected object. It will ask you to name this file. So I'm gonna give this the same name. So I know later what it is. So max3 palm3 seven. Okay. And now, as you can see, it starts the conversion and this conversion is happening online, but you can see it's very fast. So it finished the conversion and now it's asking me, do you want to download your file now? I'll click yes. And here is my file. Okay, so I'll place it in the same folder. Okay, and now here you have the license, the file, FBX, and all the maps. Okay, so now let me show you in uh, Lumion. I open already this scene from uh, Lumion 11. It's one of the example scenes. You can just go here to files and examples, and I open this one. Villa in Casal. Okay. So now let's go here to import. And so this is my folder. 
I'm gonna click the file and open. Okay, and just, I'm gonna leave it here for now. And so here, here's my asset. So let's place it uh, here. And now let's have a closer look. So you see that comes with the textures, but we still need to apply the material so we have the correct values for uh, this glossiness and reflectivity. So let's click and standard. And so it's too gloss, so we can do two things here. We can remove this normal map and the only thing it, it doesn't uh, automatically create is a normal map. So we can either create one here in Lumion or we can simply click here. We already know here which file it is. So we can just click here and here's the normal map in the same maps folder. Just reduce this uh, reflectivity. Okay. Now for this assets here let's click standard and in this case I'm just going to create an automatic normal map for this it will work fine and now for this lips here standard and for this one since it's so small you can do the same but let's increase here the waxiness a little bit And now for this uh, lips, let's click standard and remove this one. And now you can see that the leaf, this one, so let's try to find. So it's num number one, the normal map and reduce this reflectivity and increase waxiness all the way up. Let's do the same for this one. So this one, it's the same. So basically let's just go to the previous one that we created which was this one, I think. Let's copy the material and now let's just paste it here. Okay. Now this one, it's different. You can see by the texture. So let's remove and let's see which texture it is. So it's the number two. So leaf normal map number two. Decrease a little bit of reflectivity boxing us all the way up. So this part here, we can create an automatic normal map. Just make the same. And let's see if we forgot anything. Okay. Okay, I think that's all for this one. So let's just make it a little bit smaller so we can see better. And now if we go here to the render tab, so you can see that this asset is it with very high quality. Okay. But let's try to find a different type of asset. We can find a tree with more leaves. So let's try to do that. And so another site that you can get assets for free, it's every motion Lumion high quality ones, Many of them are from this website. And uh, when you go here, you have flowers, grass, small plants, trees. You have a huge variety of any other types of uh, assets. And when you go to trees, you have all of these collections. And usually you can click here and they always have a free sample that you can download and test the asset. So you can go to several types of, of uh, collections and always download the free sample. And so let me show you here the second thing we can do with this uh, lime exporter. So I'm going to open this asset. So I have here a collection of these assets. And now I'll open another one and I'm going to click merge. So we have these two assets. And now let's go here to run lime exporter. So let's just delete these extra ones just for the 
purpose of this video. I'm going to click here and I'm going to correct the model. And on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Also, I'm going to relink missing assets. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the path. So I know it's this one. Okay. And everything else is fine. And now we need to do one thing. And we need to go here to export options and we'll have export files by group. And then we click center to origin. And this way we have one file and another. And if by any case, this file was separated, let's say that we have the tree trunk in one mesh and the leaves in another, we could select both and then go here on the bottom and group and just name the group. And so this way it will work, uh, it will work just fine. And then after this, we can select both and we can click select object to start a conversion. So in this case, I'm going to leave the name as it is. And so what will this do? This will export these both files with the correct uh, center to origin. And uh, this way you can have multiple files here in, in uh, 3ds Max and export them all together at one time. And by the way, before I show you this in, in Lumion, I want to let you know that I have a free training that you can sign up for. It's called my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. So the export finished, let's download. So let's have a look at the files. I have here one and another. So let's now go to Lumion and here let's import the new files. And so we have this one. And so let's have a look at the asset. So this one is quite simple, but you can see that it comes with a pivot point correct. And we can simply on this one, standard, and then reduce the reflectivity and increase a little bit of boxiness. And now let's import the other one. And so for this one, let's place it here. And uh, whoops, let's define here. Let's see. Okay, so we can do the same thing. Either we can create automatic normal map. Usually for these assets, it works fine. This automatic, you can just adjust a little bit. Or again, we can just go to the maps folder. And here we will find for this asset, the lips. So we have here, it's this one. So we have here the correct one. Okay. And waxiness all the way up. So do the same thing for this one. Well, actually we can copy and paste. And actually I'm just going to increase colorization. Okay. And now for the tree trunk, you can make standard. And let's find here the asset. So it's this one. Remove reflectivity. So if we go now to render, you can see this new asset here. So let me increase a little bit here so you can see better. These two assets. So let me take a render. And so as you can see, these two assets, they are very high quality. And with this plugin, you can do these assets. You can place all of them and export by groups. And it will be quite fast for you to make your own library of these high quality assets in Lumion. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you'd like to know how to get those realistic 3D images, I have a free training for that. It's called my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next one.